welcome to my channel. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to refashion a man's long t-shirt, well, sort of long with long sleeves, into this amazing dress. This amazing fringe dress, that's what I'm going to show you in this video tutorial. Hoping that when I do my um, video tutorials, it will turn out the way I imagine it in my head. So I'm not sure whether things are going to work out. But as you can see, yeah, it has done. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm Queen Geely. Let's get to it. As you can see, I have it on. And it's really roomy. So the fringing on this should look amazing. So, for my sleeves, not really long sleeves, which I love, but they won't stay up. So I'm going to fix those in a moment. So I'm going to find where my waistline is. Right, so it's there, each side, okay. I'm going to put a safety pin in. Right, you know, just need, so I'm going to go from this side, the waist is higher here, it's about here, that's really too low, so I'm going to judge my measurements from this side, that feels comfortable. Right, so the only problem I'm going to have is the, it's a raglan sleeve, so I want to come about here, as I'm going to be cutting into the sides, I'm going to have to separate the sleeve from this point at the same point at the back so the sleeve section here is no longer sewn to the body of the tee. That will work, won't it? So I'm going to put a pin here, that will give me some indication. Right. Oh, when you have to measure yourself, it's so difficult, isn't it? It's fun as well, it's fun. A little bit challenging, but it's fun. For those of you who watch my channel, you know I love long sleeves. So, I also like root sleeves. And these are just too long. I'm just going to root like that. Just pop the bottom of it like that. Bring it down a bit more. Yeah, like that. That's fine. So I'm actually going to stitch. Yeah. Put a pin. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, that's nice. So I need to do a stitch from here to about here. So that it stays quite nicely on my wrist area. That ball's quite nice. That is nice. Let's see what that looks like, yeah. That'd be interesting. Because the, the, whole, the whole thing is, I'm, I don't want any waste as much as possible. I just don't know. I just don't want to have any waste and to make sure it looks aesthetically pleasing as much as it possibly can. Even if it doesn't, I'm still going to go with it as well. Because we have to get used to these new aesthetics to clothing if we are refashioning. So yeah, I think I'm ready to baste. Try it on again. And then just sew down the side seams and then cut. I such an easy project. I need to do more easy projects. I really do. <laughs> it's so much fun. Okay. Let's get this off and start sewing. You know, basting first and then I'll sew and then I'll cut. I'm ready to baste stitch. 
so these are the markers this is a hemline waistline and i'm going to the underarm here so i'm going to curve this a little bit like that so i'm just going to use some straight pins just to have that as the marker so to speak you can use any kind of marker chalk felt tip and it's about your personal choice of what you want to do so let's see okay I'm quite a straight up and down body shape but I want to taper towards the hemline so and then and then it will come out just a bit for the breast area one more yeah we're done and then what i need to do after i've done the basting is cut the underarm from the front and also the back I am happy with the fit. I think it fits gorgeous. All I need to do now is to cut along here to release the underarm of the sleeve. So I'm going to do it individually. So this is a front. What's the best way I'm going to cut from there to there? Oh. I'm going to keep this trim here to the sleeve. I can just flip that over. Yeah, well, that's fine. And then repeat it to the other side. The sleeves are now cut, the underarm looks so nice. Now all I need to do is sew down that side and then sew down the other. And then I'm ready for cutting. The side seams are sewn, so all I need to do now is just remove this basting stitch and then we're ready to cut. The final stage is now to cut. You can always try it on as well, um, to, just to make sure. Um, I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> so let's cut. Uh, yes, cut. I think about about... Um, centimeters don't get too close to your stitching oh my this is such a, a great match i'm going to have to be really careful so how uh, much about two centimeters thereabouts oh, i'm going to take my time here So I've finished cutting all oh, this gorgeousness here. I'm also going to do the same with the sleeves as well. Remember when I told you I was just going to sew a small section from here to here? I'm going to do the same. Oh, losing an earring here. 
I'm going to do the same here. I want to be careful that I don't cut too much. I don't want to cut into the seam. Oh, that looks cute. Looks oh, cute, doesn't it? And I'll just repeat those two on the other side. It looks amazing. Just look at that. That is cute. I'm gonna finish in a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. sleeves as well I think that just finishes it off but it ties it in with the rest of the dress I do hope you enjoyed this video tutorial this dress is so cute look at these triangular bits just here <laughs> so much fun and only a tiny bit of waist and oh this just finishes it off the sleeves yeah, so happy with this project. So if you enjoy this project, please give it a thumbs up. Do share it with your family and friends. And if you have any comments, put them in the comment box below. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.